Oh, welcome to this uh, robotic research laboratory. Uh, as a part of an ongoing research efforts that uh, we are uh, working on various projects, uh, this is one of the most fascinating area of uh, computer science because we are looking at computing in the context of designing intelligent robots. So the ag robot is really a very interesting robot which has gotten certain intelligence to do certain tasks. And that's where the computing comes into picture because all of these intelligence is sort of crafted in the form of different rules which later on we sort of compile them in the context of an expert system and that expert system essentially becomes a part of the uh, operation of this robot. <clears throat> so if you look at this robot, um, you know, this is a, a solar powered panel. This is where it gets all the energy. Now remember one of the things that what we are trying to do is to have a robot to do a multiple task like moving the lawn, maintaining the golf course, acting like a night watchman and you know in the night times. But in addition to that, this idea of distributed programming comes into picture because we have many of these robots working on the golf court. So one robot is talking to the other in terms of obstacle avoidance. And also it has a, a very powerful, you know, advanced image processing system. In principle, what it does is it takes a series of pictures and then processes these pictures on real time and then communicates to the other robot in such a way that all of these robots together will be sort of working on one single task of maintaining the lawn. Now, I have three students here who really basically worked on this pro project. Kim uh, is a PhD student in our department. He was the principal person in designing a basic concept together with another student we had by name Bharat who graduated and has gone back to India, developed the entire robot and this prototype robot is all that it needs is to put this in practical practice because we have done a lot of experiments on this robot in the field and it works in a very robust way. Their other uh, student is Rajesh, he is doing his master's program in computer science and then Srini is another PhD student, an outstanding programmer with Kim and he has been able to sort of put all of these programs in a distributed form. Now, this particular model is very critical for the supercomputing conference because what we're really trying to show you is a complex task of designing an intelligent robot which can work in sort of a real time situation is how much amount of data that needs to be processed in the context of working to a real problem. So the art of programming, Srini can say a few more things on distributed programming when you have multiple of these robots. Uh, one of the other goals of this prototype is this robot can also act like a security agent at night times because you know it, it sort of navigates all around a building and if it sees an intruder, it can take the picture and suddenly process it real time and then suddenly signals you know, say that there is an intruder sort of coming into the building. So, this has got multiple functions, you know. In addition to sort of using that like a civilian applications for maintaining the golf or, uh, you know, or uh, whatever the other thing, but at the same time, it is also able to be used as a security robot for some of the applications. Every operation or the mobility of this robot can be coordinated by a remote robot. So we, in essence, what we are trying to do, you can even sort of have a cell phone to coordinate with this robot. I mean, that's the next step what we are doing is, I can be at a different place and we'll still be giving instructions. See the driller, that's the kind of a driller, you know, which can go there. And this is where you sort of put all the seeds here. And you know, I mean, this is a prototype. And uh, there are a lot of companies have shown interest actually. So there are the other improvements that we are also looking at it is, we're gonna be having a little camera, you know, as and when it sort of puts the fertilizer, you know, there may be a little defect on the grass. Maybe some part of the grass may not be growing for various reasons. Or, you know, it may need a little bit of spring 
of, because of the weeds also on the grass. So all of those things can be sort of accomplished using this kind of robot. So what it does is it looks at, it takes a picture of the grass. If there is any defect, like if there is a large scale weed that is growing, how do you sort of, you know, when once it sort of defects that kind of region, it locates all the boundaries of the region. And locating the boundaries very precisely is very important. So this is a very interesting idea, which has lots of civilian applications and has a lot of potential to sort of sell it on a large scale.